Hey folks, Josh here, McKeg Chevrolet Buick in Gladewater, Texas. Welcome to the how-to section on our website where we show you different features on your Chevrolet and Buick vehicles. Alright folks, today's how-to segment is going to be how to pair your phone up to your GM vehicle using Bluetooth. And we have Mr. Mike Lambert here at McKeg to show us how. How you doing, Mike? All right. Hey, folks. How y'all doing? Y'all jump on in. Let's learn how to work the Bluetooth. All right. Good deal. I'm going to roll up to the window so we can hear a little better. First off, of course, you'll have to have your cell phone handy, and you'll have to go to your settings in your cell phone and make sure it's Bluetooth compatible. I am going to turn that off for the moment. And you go to your settings, you find your Bluetooth symbol. If I can get it to it right there. And be ready for that. Now, before we get to there, I want to show you a few things how we get to it. I'll give everybody that ever has a, buys a vehicle with Bluetooth one of these forms. It's kind of cheat notes to learning how to work the Bluetooth. So, I'll have this here with you so you'll be able to take that home with you. But, when your radio is on, this symbol right here with the phone icon is a mute if you just barely push it in right there. So it just mutes the vehicle. Now, people kind of get confused. What you really need to do is to push it in and hold it in ready? until it says ready. Minutes. And you'll see the Please phone icon right here. Once it says ready, Pardon? then you. you will mention... Goodbye. Well, I'm, I'm trying to go through this and it's telling me because I didn't do it the way they wanted me to. As soon as you push it, it says ready. You will need to say Bluetooth. Once you want to try to pair your phone, you'll have to say Bluetooth first. And then it will give you these are the different things that you can do. If you want to pair, then you, all you have to do is say pair. So once you do that, it will, it will tell you what to do next. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you how it works. We've got the radio muted right now. There it is. So we're going to push it and hold it in. Ready? Bluetooth. Bluetooth ready. Pair. Pair. Please start a search on your Bluetooth phone. Okay, now you're ready to get to your phone. You hit it, you find the Bluetooth Once the symbol. search is complete. Select you hit your vehicle it, it on your phone and then enter the code 1953. Again, the code is 1953. They will tell you what your code is. It will flash right up here below your RPM on your front of your vehicle here. It gives you the code number right there. Okay. All right, so now we get back to your phone and we say, do we want to search for a device? Yes. So there it is searching. Once it finds it, and it's completed, <clears throat> he said, this is your vehicle. Is that what you want? Yes. So we highlight that. Now it says to enter the numeric pass key for your vehicle. Well, they just gave it to us. It's 1953. So I need to enter this. 1953. And then hit your enter. Please say the name tag you want associated with this phone. Kent. About to store. Kent. Does that sound okay? Please say yes or no. Yes. Kent. Has been successfully paired. Returning to the Bluetooth settings menu. So basically... Bluetooth ready. Thank you. Goodbye. So that is really how you pair the vehicle. So this one has definitely been paired to this phone. So now when you get into your vehicle, you will never have to touch your phone. Your phone, and you'll see if it's a Blackberry like mine, you'll see a little blue light blinking right here. That means it is in, into Bluetooth mode. Now normally that's a red flashing light, so you will know that it is. So if you get out of the vehicle, it will go back to red. But now once you are got it paired, then you can do a bunch of different things. I, I try to give this sheet to everybody because there's two or three different ways to dial numbers. If you have a stored name tag in here, and I will show you how to do that, 
then you'll say call and the name tag and it will automatically call see right now let's just let's just store one you hit your button and hold it in ready store store please say the phone number you would like to store nine zero three eight four five two one three two please say the name tag avoid using a number as the name McKeg. About to store. McKeg. Now the number will flash right Does up here. Does that sound okay? Please say yes or no. Yes. Okay. Storing. McKeg. Returning to the main menu. Ready? Call McKeg. Call McKeg. Please say yes or no. Yes. Okay. Calling. McKay. So I'm dialing okay. the dealership right Kent. in front of me on Kent's phone. And you'll be able to hear how it sounds. Good afternoon, McKay. McKay, yes, this is Mike Lambert. I'm doing a little demo test for your Bluetooth, how to work a Bluetooth That's phone. That's what I was wondering. Why are you calling me off a of Kent's phone? I was wondering what you were doing. Well, you're on the air. I just thought I'd let you know that. But... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Y'all get it worked out. All right. Y'all be good out there. Bye. <laughs> Call again. Call ended. Now, the, the little symbol at the bottom of this, once you've entered your, if you want to talk to your Bluetooth or go to your Bluetooth, you hit your button right here. This is your hang up button. See the phone hanging up? That cuts it off. So you hit this to make a call. You hit your the bottom one to disconnect the call. So you got two phone symbols here. So that's what they're there for. But the, now there's, like I say, there's all different th name tags here. Directory, if you, you want to know what all your stored name tags are, you can have, all you have to do is push this in and say directory it will list them for you. Now the one thing I would tell you that you might want to remember is if you have customers in in the vehicle with you and when you get a call everybody's going to be able to hear it. If you do not want everybody to hear it then you'll need to hit the button as the call is going on right and this say transfer call and it will transfer it back to your handheld set so nobody else can hear it except you. So that's something you might keep in mind because we We've had some jokes with it, with, an, with one of our owners here, but I won't go any further. <laughs> but uh, I think that should, you know, kind of give you the basics on how to set your Bluetooth phone up. So if y'all have any questions, we're always here. Just give us a call at McKay. Thank you. Okay, folks, that about does it for our segment today on pairing your phone using Bluetooth to your GM vehicle. So be sure to check back with us often here on www.mckeg.net where we'll show you how to segments on other fine features of your favorite vehicle as always give us a call 903-845-2132 if you have any questions or shop in your pjs 24 7 on www.mckeg.net you'll be glad you did thanks have a great day